What up, y'all? Let's get into it. We ain't finna waste no time. Make sure y'all hit that like button. Make sure y'all subscribe if you're new. Hey, it's crazy. We got life with Infinity B. She put, um, looks like some girl named Bennett Nicole. Nicole Bennett. And then we got the Shea Frost. Frost the Shea. In the hot seat. Hot seat. Hot seat thing. Let's definitely watch this. Because my boy Deshae in this thing. So you already know this video is going to be funny. And you know tell him what he going to say or do. <clears throat> Let's go. Back up. Let's see Infinity B. Alright, uh, we can't get copyrighted by uh, The weekend. And as you guys can see, we have two special guests. I'm not saying this. We have a regular and we have a special guest. Yeah, because I never mentioned Okay, okay, okay. They must be in Georgia right now. Okay, it's gonna be good. Okay. You wanna introduce yourself? My name is the chef for us. Alright, y'all. Alright, y'all. Alright, y'all. Alright, y'all. Alright, y'all. Alright, y'all. <laughs> I'm already know it's gonna be too crazy. And if you don't mind, you can question. You don't have to ask All right, here we go, you Never know. All right, first question is. Am I tripping? Or does she have his chain on? Does that say Frost? Uh, uh, uh. That's disgusting. You don't just put no random ass nigga chain on unless that's your nigga. It's like a tramp stamp. Y'all women, women don't know that? That shit ain't attractive to other other men. That shit is like, what the fuck? Like, you fucking this nigga? Like, now I got, I got so many questions in my head now. It's like, bro, what the fuck is going on? Maybe. I don't know. Are you talking to anyone in your name? No. Name? No. So, will you have an interest in your name? I mean, I'm not talking to you. I'm going to say this for you. I'm going to say this for you. Alright. Did she rate me? Great. Yeah. Me? Bennett? Yeah. Okay. We'll make her a thing. Alright, Christina, I wish you could hear yourself. And, um, I like that she got all shit going on. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, have anyone of you ever regretted having sex with someone? Yeah. yeah. Why? Of course. Thank everybody for that one. Like, the fuck? Mm -hmm. I think it was like a. You know what? Like, 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 Oh, you don't like that? Oh, my God. I mean, she was just on some... She was stressing too hard. I'm gonna fuck you. Like, no, you're not. Like, I like to be in control. You know what I'm saying? She's a weird. Like, scratch me. Like, damn, bitch. I got allergies. I'm gonna break her. The scratches do come, bro. Like, the fuck? I like scratches. When was the last time both of you had sex? I thought that was part of it. Oh! Oh, I don't care. Alright. Like, I just got to say. Not really. But, like, you want to see? You want to see? What is it? You want to see? 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 You want to for real, for real. I think it's been about two years now. It's my 28th birthday. I'm 30 now, so it's been about two years. <laughs> it, by choice, of course. Like, of 
course about choice. It's just I don't be trusting these women. I don't be knowing, bro. Niggas be coming up with all different kinds of different type of bacteria and diseases. I don't want none of that stuff, so I just be chilling. Plus, I had a lot of fun. I had a lot of fun. And I'm still going to have more fun as I live life. So it's just like I ain't in no rush at all. Mm -mm. Nah. It don't always, it don't never be hidden like they be saying it be hidden. Like they, they'll say it. They motherfucker hit. They motherfucker waterfall. They motherfucker the best you ever had. Ah, uh, I guess. I heard that so many damn times. <laughs> Damn, she laughed. It just wasn't, it wasn't satisfying. Oh, my goodness. What do right there like how do you even <sighs> like I mean you damn near you have to my nigga it's right there like there's no way you can it's just no way even even if you not it's like your chin going it's something gonna be in the motherfucker it's right there so I don't okay whatever uh-uh, uh-uh, he trying to hurt. I mean, I'm asking these people to be gay. Yeah, that shit All right, crazy. So. Yeah, that shit crazy. That shit's crazy. I don't care how good it feel. I don't, I don't want that. I'll pass. <laughs> I'll pass. You feel me? Like, I know half y'all women... Somebody try to give y'all a little Honda, you gonna be like, "Ooh, I don't want that. I pass." It's like you, you could, you could take it, but it's like, ah, uh, nah. It just ain't it. The same thing. That that ain't it. That ain't it. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. You agree? Yeah. Like okay. I, I don't. I whatever, whatever you don't like, you don't like. But me personally, I just. That's true. Whatever people like, y'all like that. So. Cause you don't want no backlash from that. Nah, fuck that shit. You gay. And if you like sticking out her booty, you gay too. I did that shit once in my life. And no. No. Three seconds, I was like, no, this ain't it. No. No, this ain't it. No, that, that ain't it. Mm -mm. That ain't it. That ain't it, chief. That ain't it. Mm mm. Mm mm, that ain't it. Mm -mm. This is a good. This is a good one, then, because it's a lot of. I just like that sense. Yeah. Okay, so would y'all date each other in the first person that hit my hand first? Damn, that's some crazy ass shit. What the fuck? The first person, the last person, the last person that hit my hand first. Answer, answer first. Yes. Ready? Set. You just answered. No, you not answer. Ready? Say. Not date her. Yeah. Um, like, do y'all find each other attractive? There's two different questions. Yeah. Would you date her? Date? Um, I feel like maybe. It just depends how shit goes. Am I alive? To date somebody in my own profession is kind of like risky. Huh? Yeah, that's kind of like really risky. What do you mean? Like the same thing? Yeah, we're in the same field. How's it risky? Because it's just like. It's, it's more understandable. People gonna be on my ass. My people gonna be on your ass. Oh yeah, yeah. I don't wanna yeah. deal with all well, that. Sure. I'm gonna go with my next wish to be public. Yeah. I don't know, but like, I definitely feel like that. Like, yeah. 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 Yeah.
yo, I was gonna say, cause I, I would need you to pull up because um the nigga Dwight, he wanted me to help him out at eleven. Uh, with some moving stuff, he was gonna pay me and stuff. So it'd be easier if uh if you pull up and then we can probably hit the park or go back to your your neighborhood or your house, whatever the case may be, and then I'll just link with him after that. See what I'm saying? Yeah, so that'll work a little bit better. But shoot, I'm at the crib, huh? Yeah, that should be cool. I bet. My homie Tyler, man. I'm about to link with him. And I'm finna look at my other homeboy from high school. Uh, they helped them move some stuff. I don't know what they got me moving. They always need me to help out because, you know, I got them, the muscles and stuff. Man, I got all the energy. So they be calling me. Like, yo, help me do this. Everybody always be asking me to help them do some shit. Make sure my motherfucking money come in right. That's all I know. Make sure my money right. You feel me? I help everybody, bro. It's totally fine. I understand, bro. Sometimes you just need somebody to help you out. But make sure my motherfucking money right. Because at the end of the day, after helping all these motherfuckers, once these people pass away, or once these motherfuckers ain't your friend no more, once they start hating on you, or whatever the case may be, I want to make sure my money right. You feel me? So make sure y'all money right. You feel me? Like, you know what I'm saying? I, I can save, I can save, I can be a doctor, save billions of people. But if they're not paying you nothing, how you gonna help your damn self? And that's where like, I had to find an understanding. My mom was like beating that thing into my head, like, yo, save your fucking money. Because some days it start raining outside. And I'm like, oh, it's raining outside. I'm like, I like the rain. So I'm like, oh, I don't like it. Nigga, what? Man, I was in my car one day, man, I had a flat tire. That's a rainy day right now. You got a flat tire. So now what you gonna do? Shit, looking at the bank account, like, damn, I ain't got no money to fix this flat tire. Damn. Exactly. So make sure y'all save for the rainy days. Because nothing in this world is perfect. Nothing. Nothing. Everything over time needs to be replaced. Everything. Except the body, mind, and soul. That's it. If you take care of your body, mind, and soul, it will last a long time. A long time. I'm talking about a long time. Thousands of years. It'll last. Not saying it'll be forever, but it'll last. The same as anything else outside. Not saying it'll be forever, but it will last. But this stuff that we build, like these cars, homes, buildings, I mean, they have expected lifespans. A building, they literally know this building should stay up for about 500 years or to 750. Then we're going to have to redo the uh you know redo the the foundation they know that you know what i'm saying this is a science it's already been proven but the thing about the human body the human body they wonder how, how these people was living three four five hundred years easy they took care of their body mind and soul it's real easy real easy keep that body moving no matter what i promise you just like how you run that car you driving that motherfucking machine just how we using these phones, we using this bitch until the battery go dead. Same thing you do with your body. Run that motherfucker. Make sure that bitch keep moving. You know how most if you are, if you older or whatever or not, you would, let's say um like your grandparents had some cars that were just sitting there. Then they go out there at least once a week, turn the car on, make sure the car is moving, maybe move it up, move it back, just to make sure that bitch is running and moving. You gotta make sure it keep going. Cause what you don't use, you lose. That was one of the wise words given. What you don't use, you lose. Any of y'all seen the Matrix? What happened in the Matrix? When he wasn't using his body, he finally came out of the little uh, Matrix thing. He finally came awoke. What happened? His body was all flimmy because he wasn't using his body. He was using his mind. So you got to use your body. You got to move it. Dance. Keep it, keep it moving. That's the only way to keep the muscles and everything operating. Otherwise, you'll forget. you forget how to move your pinky. you start getting arthritis and all this other extra shit because you're losing brain cells over time. So you have to practice. Practice. Just how you practice your ABCs and walking. When you was a kid, when you, was a kid you gotta practice these things. Because you tend to lose them as you get older. But if you practice it, 
you start to remember. You keep those neurons and the connection connected. See what I'm saying? Life. Just trying to help y'all out, bro. But this right here, man, I'll tell you what. Come on with these questions. She got some crazy questions. Come on with these questions. Um, yeah, but, but, um, I don't know. She's on the board. That's why. That's not why. All men are. When they want to be. Choice. They can be, if they want to be. She just don't want to get cheated on and get her heart broken. It ain't the fact that you're a whore. Because she'll love you to be her whore. Just like vice versa. You'll love her to be your slut. You know what I'm saying? What man don't like that? But she don't want... You, you don't want her to be slut for everybody. Just like she don't want you to be a whore for everybody. It's the same thing. She don't want to have... She don't want to be dating you with community dick. Every girl on Instagram, every girl in the state know exactly... You know what I'm saying? She don't want that. Just like you don't want that. You don't want every nigga talking about Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that? Oh, yeah, I had her last week. Other nigga like, oh, yeah, last night, bro. For real? Oh, yeah. yeah. Nobody wants that. So it makes sense. It makes sense. Uh, I, if if you was like, I don't know him, know him. Right, that's what I'm saying. Like, if you was like, you know what he put out, his content is like, that was, or whatever. But I feel like, personally, like, if we was in Atlanta and we actually get to know him, huh? Yeah, yeah. So if we was in Atlanta and we get to know him more and more, we'll know if he was really, really about, about that or not. not. Mm -hmm. It didn't change. I feel like it yeah. didn't change. Like, you know. Yeah. All right. What's the last Smart. That was smart. That was smart. Some people don't look at it that way, though. Some people take it face value. That that one red flag, they like, oh, no. They like, no. They like, I'm not even trying to hang to even find out. Like, no. But that's smart. She's smarter. She's like, man, I'm going to find out just to make sure. Because you can't read a book by its cover. But I'll show you all this book. Let me show you all this book. Some of y'all know what this book is called. Some of y'all heard of this book. Probably never seen it before. It's called The Secret. You can't read this book by looking at the cover. You'll never know the secret. What's the secret? Somebody tell me. I bet you can't tell me by reading this. I bet you don't know. I know you don't. You couldn't tell me because you didn't read the book. So you would never know the secret. It's the whole point. You can't read a book by looking at the cover. That's like looking at the dictionary saying, I know all the words and all the definitions. No, you don't. You have to read it. The same thing with the Bible. They were like, oh, I know the Bible. No, you don't. You have to read it. <laughs> it's same like watching a movie. You ever watched a movie, you've seen it one time, and then you forgot some parts or you, some parts you missed? You had to watch that bitch at least 20 times before you knew the whole movie. So what you think you got to do with the books? You got to read them back and forth. <laughs> at least 100 times before you really know the book. Hence is why whenever I read books, I always start from the first page and I go until I stop. And then I do it again. I go until I stop because each time you read it, you're going to get a different perspective, no matter what book it is. So when people go around, they say, oh, I don't like that book because it says this. Oh, OK. You might need to open up your mind, and open up your perspectives. You know what I'm saying? By reading the book again. Try again. Try again. I didn't like ruffled chips the first time I tried it. Try again. You never know. Ten years from now, you might like them. Your taste buds change. Your perception change. This happens. This is what life is about. So you can't start. You start off one way and then most people try to mold into a rock. So the thing about rocks, they're easy to break. You just take something else that has more force and break it. And then you can break it into pieces and crumbles. So then when it's in crumbles, guess what? No longer a rock. It's like a brick wall. Yeah, I'll shoot that bitch with an RPG. I bet you that bitch blow up. Now it ain't there no more. You, you get where I'm going? Everything can be taken down. Same shit going on with the government. And everything else. Everything can be taken down. Anything built up can be taken down. Especially if it's not of God. Yeah, it can be taken down. So just remember that, y'all. Like I said, read these books. Don't just look at the cover and be like, oh, I get it. Because you don't. You got to read, man. That's probably the most important thing I've 
learned is just reading, like, <laughs> and listening, like. Well, you it's not even reading; it's listening. It's more of listening. Wait, what? Well, you listen to the TV. Oh my God! You know what? Uh, what? Like not like restaurant, restaurant, but no, that's fire. Yeah, it was fire. Be at Denny Highs, be like, yo, yo, hey, let me get the I'm not going there for about two, three minutes, but I have fun, bro. Hey, I like that shit. Yeah. Really? I fuck with it. I fuck with it. Okay, y'all, it wasn't like, restaurant, restaurant, it was like, that's cool too. Okay. Mm. Okay. Wait, what? What did he just say? Seventeen. Seventeen. I don't know when I started. I think I was. 16. I was at this girl at uh, grandma house. She invited me over. She was more freaky though. She was older. She was 18. I was, uh, what was I, 16? 15. 16. I was 16. I had to think about it for a second. I was at the girl at grandma house. She invited me over. This was like my, maybe my third or fourth time coming over. And I thought it was just, we were just chilling. It was cool. She was like, come back here. Like, where are we going? Like, we never go to the back. We never go to the rooms, none of that. Yeah. Like, come to my grandma room. I'm like, your grandma room? Why don't we go in your grandma room? What the fuck? What did she come up and she see me in your her motherfucking room? She's like, what this nigga doing in my room type shit. And yeah. It was boring, though. Like, I didn't know anything. So, like, she was just riding for like a whole hour. And then she got up, like, but I didn't know anything. You know what I'm saying? I didn't know anything. I was boring. Like, I didn't know anything. I had no type of, no, no, it was just regular. I ain't know nothing. I was just, <laughs> just looking around, just enjoying the experience. Like I had no type of, that was crazy though. I always think back about it. I'd be like, man, that shit was pretty great. And I don't even know why me and the chick broke up, to be honest. Yeah, she was wild. Now I think about it. She was wild. She was a freak. I don't know why we broke up though, to be honest. Ain't no tell. But yeah, man, one time her mom was taking me home. And, and we in the third row in the back of the truck. She's sucking me off. I'm like, I'm like, nigga, your mom right there. She right there. She got the music loud. I'm like, bro, this song, Paul, she gonna hear all of that. Nigga laid back, like, trying to act like he's sleep type shit. Yeah, it was this crazy ass experience, this man. Life, bro, I tell you what. She was bold, though. Like, damn, bitch, can we can we wait? I felt uncomfortable. <laughs> Maybe that's why I couldn't get off. I felt uncomfortable. I was comfortable but uncomfortable at the same time. Like, so it was it was in the middle. It's crazy to me though. Think about it. I hate laying on my head, bro. Here for y'all falling down, it's gonna be nasty. Name drop the most attractive person who's ever collab with. Collab with. <laughs> 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 he already said it. He put her name in Ella now. What the heck was that? She from New Orleans? She got an accent. I used to know a couple girls from New Orleans. Once that uh, Katrina came through, they had started 
moving to Georgia. So I know a couple of them. They're cool as fuck. Cool as fuck. My mom from New Orleans. Cool as fuck. Cool as fuck. Mm hmm. I like chicks from New Orleans. They're cool. Chicks from New York. Cool too. Straight to the point. They ain't playing no games. They live through that. I really feel like I should not say to her. No, no, I really feel like people I collab with my friends. Like, you know? Yeah, I only collab with friends. And you not have friends with you. Never. 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 Yeah, me too. I don't like that thing. Not that bad when I'm mad, man. Like, nobody can tell you. That might be for everybody, though. That probably for everybody. Can y'all hear that? They got the saws and shit running and shit. That might be for everybody, though. Attitude. When they get mad, they mad. I don't like getting mad. Y'all wouldn't be here if I, if I really was just to get mad. Y'all wouldn't be here. I'll tell y'all that right now. None of y'all would be here. I had to blow this shit up. There's too much shit going on. I'll blow y'all up for sure. All of y'all be gone. Every single last one of y'all. That's why I don't like getting mad. I just stay peaceful. I'm like, fuck it. Mother nature will take care of y'all before I need to. Literally. Y'all gonna die before I need to do anything. So I just, I just be chilling nowadays. Karma, nature is gonna take care of y'all. God is gonna take care of y'all. Oh. You feel me? So I just be like, shit, I ain't even gonna get mad because I'm in there blowing up this shit. I'll blow up the whole planet. The whole shit be gone. I don't care about none of that. <laughs> I don't care about none of that. But I was like, fuck it. Let Mother Nature do its thing. You feel me? That way I ain't gotta do nothing. Because I don't wanna end up in jail neither. Especially not no space prison. Got me fucked up. Cause that'll be the next place they'll send you after the planet, after the earth. They're gonna send you out of space and you're gonna be stuck out there. I'm not trying to do none of that. So oh, I'll just be chilling. I'll be like, I'm just gonna chill. Yeah. Ain't nothing else to do right now, right? Until these robots decide they wanna take over. And then we start shooting shit. Or vice versa, the zombies start trying to take over. Walking Dead, the people that we already walking with that's already dead. We just haven't uh, confirmed it fully. There's a lot of dead people out here, bro. Remember I went to the store one day and I was in there like, eh. It just, the lady walked up to me, she like, a man smiling? Like it's something brand new. You never seen a man smile before? She like, most men don't be smiling. Yeah. They dead on the inside. The fuck, why would I not be smiling? It's fucking white outside, nigga. It's grass, my nigga. It's tree. It's pussy outside. Why would I not be smiling, my nigga? Make it make sense. Nigga, what? <laughs> what? Is you crazy? All the dreams MLK had, they came true. I, why would I not be smiling? We are free. Finally, at last. Why would I not smile? I have no kids. Why would I not smile? I'm not stressing. I have no gray hair, not one. It's some people, they, bro, I've known people since they was kids, they had gray hairs. I'm still trying to understand how. I'm, I really be trying to get it, y'all. And I'm wise, so I'm just trying to figure out how the fuck y'all got gray hairs. Mm. And then what is there to stress? Huh? The only time you stress is if you're trying to fight a battle that you can't win. Why would you be trying to fight that battle if you know you can't win? That's why you leave it up to God. So it doesn't make any sense for you to stress, to even feel that emotion at all. There's no, there's no point of feeling that. That's what I was saying about being mad. There's no point in getting mad. <laughs> no point of stressing. You can't change nothing. Like, what the fuck? So at that point, it gets funny. And then you start understanding 
why the like the person that was the Joker, why he was who he was. There's literally no change in nothing. No matter how much force, no matter how much, how much money you put into it, no. There's always gonna be something that's gonna stop what you're trying to do. It just is what it is. It's just always gonna be that way, bro. It's called balance. <laughs> it's called balance. So the universe has to balance itself out with everything and everyone inside of it. And then there's multiple universes. So at that point, it's like, you to, uh, have fun trying to change stuff. Hence is why most people can't time travel. Going back and forth into time. Most people can't do that because we understand that y'all motherfuckers will try to change shit that you ain't supposed to be trying to change. There's a reason why certain things is off limits for certain people. Because y'all motherfuckers is crazy. Motherfuckers go back trying to save people. What the fuck you trying to save these people? You gonna save them, they gonna come back doing the same shit and die all over again. And that's where I was like, okay, bet. I guess I can't save everybody. Oh, you can't. There's no reason to. They have to die and then re-resurrect. That way they can learn from their experiences. There's no saving these people. There's no reason to save them. And then it's so crazy because so many people have done so much in their life that they never told you about. So they don't scam people, they rob people, they ain't tell you nothing about none of this stuff and you trying to save them. Well, have fun with that. Like, I don't understand why you even want to do that. Like, you got to let them deal with their karma. Let them deal with whatever they going through. Let them deal with that. That's between them and God. It's that simple. That's how I look at it, for sure. You be a leader. They pick up. If they don't pick up, you just want to. It's not like, I'm not She said, she said, oh yeah, red flag. Like, how the fuck you don't remember that shit? You're gonna piss me off. Now I was playing. It was my, um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. If you get back and show an extra juice, I'm gonna show you wouldn't? Yeah. Heck no. <laughs> so much is he be real 
the same as anybody else. Speed, Andrew Tate, all the motherfuckers. They being real. They not sitting there trying to flex. They just being themselves. And that's what makes it funny. That's what makes it controversial. That's what makes it entertaining. It's like a genuine, real ass person. Cause there's so many fake people out here. Finally f meet a real person. You you like, hey, what's up, bro? <laughs> Cause there's a lot of fake ass people out here, bro. So when you meet real people, you know, you recognize. And a lot of people recognize. So do y'all feel like the YouTuber life is fake? Or do y'all feel like, so like how would y'all think that? It depends on who the person is. There's a lot of people like force a lot of content for Like I said, like bro, I have somebody, I would tell them like they just record and they just kind of like I can't just record. It's like whatever I fuck I do with it. That's why in the beginning of the video, he's like, uh, y'all, I don't know what we're getting into today, but, uh, <laughs> that's good, though. Like, no planning, that's good. It's more authentic. It's with the flow of life, it's genuine. Because all that planning, I hate that shit. Especially when you're doing videos, I don't like that shit. They're like, you got a script? The script. You better think off the top of your head. Ain't nobody got no damn script. You're not finna be stopping and going just because you said the wrong words. Heck no. That ain't genuine. Now you gotta go back and practice this script. The fuck? Man, you already, as long as I get your emotions to rise and go up and down, bro, we are good. Trust me on that. All I do is say something crazy. <laughs> Easy, like. Yeah. But it's like my that's job right. is to be outside. So that's a blessing in itself. My job is to be with badass females and be outside. That's far. You get paid to be like outside and to be with people. That's so, would you say your content is kind of something like prime content? Huh? Yeah. That's my nigga. Like, I'm weird to it for minutes for sure. I feel like he's definitely more like, more like smooth, like more chill with it. Yeah. Like, more like, I'm more like, yeah, it is too different. It's it's the same game, but yeah, he be right about that part. Okay, okay. Let's finish it up. All right, we on it. Okay. All right. Um. Let's see. Yeah, I was like, this is how much I'm working. You gonna switch up? Uh-uh, I would never do that. Yeah, Alright, so how many one night stands if you like? What does that mean? You had sex on the first night and you're not fucking with you? Yeah. I always talk to the girl when I text. How many one night stands? Even if. What? Yeah. 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 Ye
I guess because, again, remember I was telling you about that book thing, about reading the book. So they look at the outside, but they don't know the inside. So they, they're going off perception off the outside, like, oh, he looked like this, that, that, and that. And you can think that if you want to, but that doesn't mean it's true. See what I'm saying? So like, I can be like, I only got 10 bodies. Y'all can take that with a grain of salt. Trust me, that's a grain of salt. So it's like, you don't know. You never will know. I can tell you I got a hundred. You still don't know if I'm telling you the truth or not. You will never know. I guess. You know, it's 8 billion people. I guess that's great. I'm good. Oh, got you. So she don't count those. I so got you. Mm -hmm. like, nah, um, got you. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's pretty good. But most girls got over 50 at least. Definitely over 50. Most. Yeah. Some, t I said 50. That's just being generous. Some got over two, 300. Like, just being, man, that's just being generous. Like, I'm just being honest. Y'all be thinking, some of these women, bro. Chuh. That's how they be so experienced. Like, they have to get experience in. They have to train. They have to actually. Y'all remember that Drake song? I can tell you can practice and all that good stuff. Yeah. But it's like, it's the experience, bro. How you think she got so good? She didn't just wake up and was good. Like, she had to fucking practice, my nigga. Either on something real or something fake. Yeah. Um, basically, what happened was, from Yarn, some people already know because it was posted on two pages or whatever. But. Yeah, we cheated the first time or whatever, whatever. And I was going to take out. Really? I don't know, but the girl texted me. Mm -hmm. yeah. But it wasn't like on no message stuff. She was, she was just like, hey, um, hey, Dave's. Da, 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 da. It wasn't no message stuff, though. She was coming to me and talking. She was just like, just I think that. Let me let you know. Let me let you know. Like, she was trying to be messy. Uh, guys, it was all a lie. She lied. No, she wasn't. She was, no, she wasn't. She was like, and she peeped our YouTube video. She was like, "Hey, he lied to me. He said that you were talking to the lab." And then she 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 I believe the girl because she came to me. Like other girls don't care. But I feel like as a guy, I feel like they look at them as like she knew what the fuck she was doing. But then again, no, he knew what the fuck he was doing. Exactly. He was saying just for entertainment. Right. That's what he was doing. So that she had no girl, if young real girl that she was dating was going around. Hey, 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 facts there some facts but truthfully it just depends on the person it don't matter if they're in your profession or not it just depends on the person it depends on their mental level like mental level mental level it really it really depends on their mental level like i don't care if i'm doing a video with women every single day of the week the fuck that got to do with you? You know what I'm saying? Vice versa. A girl, she do YouTube and she doing videos with niggas. Who gives a fuck? Do the fucking videos. And get your money. All right, look. As long as it's a business. Now, if I start feeling some type of way, 
then we got a problem. Because I trust them feelings on the inside. So I feel some type of way. I feel something going on. I feel like some bullshit going on. Then we got a problem. But other than that, as long as I don't feel like something going on, I'm doing my shit, you doing your shit. Should be cool. Same profession, different profession. It shouldn't matter. So, so did you, when you first had your school, did you cry about with a female? Like, did y'all start the chance again? It was me and my sister. And then I had a girl. Then it was a girl. And then, niggas is going to be as a relationship person. Alright, Nate, did you have any more questions to ask? Okay. Before we wrap it up. Okay, you have any questions you want to get up and do Are we gonna be saying content from the both of you guys? Like together? No. Not only no relationship stuff, I'm just saying like chill stuff. Yeah. <laughs> I always tell the name. This this is what the fuck. But they be out here recording with all these other niggas that's shit. She's gonna be fucking with so That's all right. You be recording with. Just say, we just, like, come on. Boo boo female, stop playing with me. Damn, boo boo. Boo 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 Damn, that would have sound like it sound like she been doing these videos with them niggas, but really that she don't want to, but she been doing it because you doing videos other videos. That would sound like. It sound like she waiting on you. Cause how she know you been doing videos with Wuku and that means she been paying attention. Hmm. Hey, she said that she, she said she would have beat you on the ass. Oh, Lord. All right, y'all. So that's the end of. <laughs> like with Infinity TV. And we check it out. Bye y'all. That's pretty good. It did look like a different person. Alright y'all. <laughs> That's crazy. We out. Peace.